select that and right click it, I can do smart lookup. It'll look up a Wikipedia article and tell you the population of Indonesia. It's more like 250 million. Oh, wow. So then I can go ahead and just make my change right here. So you can imagine for any student how beneficial that would be. Yeah, smart lookup is a great feature. Um, so it, the smart little pig look up there is a whole board. new level. Yeah, it makes it much easier. <laughs> but on the desktop version, it does work in PowerPoint. So oh, good. So you're right about that. Same thing with the 360. Yes, yep, that, that would be the latest version. Something else that's really handy when it comes to using the continuum is PowerPoint. So again, you can be working on your PowerPoint presentation, making edits right on your phone, changing verbiage, you can change your transitions, whatever you need to do. And then if you open up PowerPoint on the screen, you've got that, you know, that layout is much easier to get around and make your changes. Let's say that you are in a uh, Word document and you start it on the, on your phone, maybe making some edits on the way home, and then you get home, you can open up that same oh, yeah, Word document. Oh, you know what, I need to close, I need to close the presentation. So in PowerPoint again, and then close the presenter view. Okay, you're still All right, yeah, now I can go to Word, and it'll be just the way that I left it. Yeah. And if I go, if I need to do something, and I need to leave for the day, and I still need to work on it, I can hit Word back on the phone, it pulls it back down again. What I like about it too is that if you unplug the phone, you don't really lose a step. And then when you, let's say that you are coming home and you're just plugging it into your television or projector or whatever you have, in about five seconds, it just sends whatever's here up to the screen. So, here's our desktop, you open up Word, and it's just how it does it. And it's full editing, whether you're on the phone or you have the phone on the screen, you can do whatever you need to to edit. Like, features that you have in this one, that's compared to the service. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, play around, play around as, as much as you want. Over here, we're really just showing, I mean, we do have a Service Pro 4 here, but we're just showing how it's uh, basically a uh, duplicate view where you're able to stream up to this screen with only using this box right here. So it's only one port going right through your charging port over here to the side. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, play around with it. Oh wait, so this is like the second dual screen? Or? Absolutely, yes. Oh, oh there we go. All going right through your power source, so your USB is still yeah. wide open for you. That's not being used up. I just wondered why the, uh, why the charger for it was so weird. <laughs> it serves many purposes. <laughs> Yep, so you can see how you can use that as a mouse. Two, two finger as well works. Oh my god. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? Uh, yep. Everything's built in right there. So imagine if you're traveling a lot, you get to your hotel room, you're tired of working on a smaller screen all day and you want to have you know a little bit larger screen, sit back in bed, put the keyboard on your lap, have your mouse right there, and be able to work off a much larger screen. It optimizes everything that is uh, available to be shown on the screen. It turns it from a mobile experience to basically the desktop experience that you're used to with your surface. Can, can, can you use the phone as a mouse pad that you to navigate around? Or? Yeah, so that's what he's doing right now. So that, that, he, that is serving as his mouse. So you can also connect a mouse, a Bluetooth mouse, to I'm talking about like the cursor, the cursor on the yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. So oh, he, yeah, he's able to highlight text. Um, obviously, like, oh, uh, copy and paste. That would be a hard thing to do without having a keyboard. You'd want to have, you know, for the, the best experience, you'd want to have a keyboard to be able to support all that.